important a role does the manufacturing sector play in, in this region? It's very important. Manufacturing accounts for just under a sixth of the economy of Yorkshire and the Humber, which makes it, relatively speaking, one of the biggest manufacturing industries in the country. Only the East Midlands and Wales, relatively speaking, have bigger manufacturing sectors. So as a result, um, conditions in the manufacturing sector go a long way towards determining the overall vibrancy of, uh, of how things are in this part of the world. And what areas of manufacturing can we expect to see more of in the, in the future? Well, the two big winners through the recovery, through the rebound, uh, have been transport equipment and optical equipment. Um, but it has been pleasing to see that really across the whole of the manufacturing sector, the recovery has been broad-based. Going forward, um, our demand model shows that the, the three sectors with the brightest prospects are probably still transport, um, also metals and chemicals too. And that's really just determined by the, the balance of demand that those sectors face in terms of the mix coming more from business to business type transactions rather than business to consumer, where uh, there are a few headwinds to contend with and we expect spending to be a little bit more sluggish. And uh, what's your thoughts on the outlook for the UK economy and, and also how will that affect the manufacturing sector? Overall, we expect the, the recovery to continue, albeit at a fairly sluggish pace, um, but the pleasing news is that we expect the manufacturing sector to outpace that. Um, but I think there's really two key uncertainties that need to be taken into account when thinking about the economic environment going forward. One of them is just how sustainable you think the recovery in demand has been. Clearly, over the past six months or so, um, demand has been relatively weak. The economy's basically gone sideways. And the key question is, is that just one of these temporary setbacks that we usually see at some point during a recovery, or is it the beginning of something more sinister? And the other key uncertainty just concerns the level of slack or spare capacity in the economy, because that's going to go a long way to determining what happens with interest rates. And clearly, with consumers and households still carrying quite a lot of debt, we really need to see interest rates stay fairly low for an extended period of time just to help them digest that.